Yeah, I think so. This past year, I did a lot of just addressing addressing what you said, uh, addressing that doubt. And I think in 2021, the Olympic trials, uh, it just all built up at once. I didn't really know what was going on. And so uh, just competing, like I felt like I was literally a second behind all my reactions. And a lot of that was just all the anxiety that I felt at that time in my life. And so just addressing that this past these past two years, um, recognizing like even at Final X this year, I still did feel like a little bit of PTSD, I guess you could say, uh, you know, coming out and competing and just recognizing like, so what, you know, those nerves are there for a good thing. Uh, Coach Kale actually helped me a lot in my college career with that, just being like, you know what, so what, make some mistakes. You're going to feel nerves. It's a good, good positive thing. And I think uh, in the past, the past couple of years, I've associated those nerves, those feelings of anxiety with negative things that held me back and were going to come out in negative ways in my wrestling. And so, yeah, this whole year uh, it's come up at different points. That doubt never really goes away. Uh, and it, it'll come up at weird points even when you're feeling most confident, uh, a little bit of doubt will creep in and realizing that there's nothing wrong with that. It's just uh, you got to stay focused and be clear on what you want. And uh, seeking gratitude in those instances really helps clear your mind also. It's another tool I use. Sure. You said you said um, when that doubt would creep in, I think you said something like it, it would lead me down a negative road or it, it yeah. would lead to negative thoughts or feelings. Can you expand on that a little bit? Yeah, so I would just uh, – I've read a few books on it this past year and uh, just wanted to really get to the root of why I was feeling not myself in com during competition. And so the anxiety that I was feeling, the nerves that I was feeling, uh, for whatever reason, I was trying to suppress them uh, and just be like, you know what, I feel ready. I am I feel great in the practice room. I know where I can compete. I've competed at some of the best tournaments in the world. I feel ready to go. And then you get to the big tournament and it's like, holy crap, we're here. And uh, so, yeah, those those nerves will come out in negative ways. I think that was amplified at the time with the weight cut and just the performances I've had, you know, before this year really made me force me to get introspective and, and get to the root of that. And I think just focusing on the right things, uh, I still like I said, I still feel those nerves. I still get excited, but seeing it as excitement versus something that is going to hold me back just a different lens, I guess you could say of, of competing. Sure. What are, what are the name of one or, or some of those books that you mentioned that you read that maybe helped you work through this? Yeah. Um, I'm not even, I have to pull up my phone, but uh, okay. I had it on Kindle. This one, this one book, it was a couple hundred pages and uh, it was just talking about how like sometimes like anxiety is just a, uh, it, it's an alarm. It's an alarm system. Your body sometimes uh just makes things up kind of and makes up uh your brain makes up problems um that aren't really even true yet so i might my my brain might say you know what i'm in a wrestling tournament and uh this in the past has been a negative experience for me and my brain would go would set my body into like increased heart rate right and uh kind of negative things that you would think would push you forward but at the time was holding me back and making me feel like I shouldn't be feeling that way. And so just real recognizing that uh, whenever those thoughts or whenever that feeling actually would come up, just being like, you know what, this is a, that's all it is, is a feeling and kind of getting introspective and saying, you know what, I'm here because I want to be here. Uh, so what if I'm a little bit nervous? That just means I'm excited and kind of redirecting those nervous, that nervous energy. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what I've done this past year. This is really interesting stuff. Um, as you're you're reading this book or books and 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 taking this in and trying to absorb these kind of lessons, at least that you're describing, is there a way to practice them? Um, what you're saying and, and by maybe going to other tournaments, or is it like you can't get these feelings unless you're at the big one, and so you just your first chance to implement some of these tools is going to be at the worlds or maybe Final X. Yeah, I think it's a combination. Uh, you gotta, you definitely gotta make a conscious effort in your daily life to see like when, when you would feel, I guess, triggered uh, a little bit more. Your heart rate would increase or whatever the trigger would be. Um, yeah, so for me, it was some wrestling tournaments or even sometimes practice, uh, and I would come in and feel just a little bit 
little bit like I, yeah, that increased heart rate, not in a good way. Uh, that's the best way to explain it. We're all competitors and we, we chase that natural feeling of competition, but uh, when it's affecting you in a negative way, you got to address it. And so at the start of this year in February, just forcing myself to go to some tournaments and kind of put myself out there. That also helps um, eliminate that fear or that anxiety uh, that you'd feel. You just put yourself out there in situations if you can. Uh, and just, I just did that. I competed a lot this year. That helped a lot. Sure. And you, you mentioned even like maybe at times at practice when you realize, I don't know if it's a, a, a thought or an emotion you get um, where your, your heart rate gets going because of maybe what you're thinking or feeling. Can you, and maybe, maybe this isn't, there's not really an answer to this, but like, is this like at a certain point in practice, um, drilling, sparring live? Is it um, potentially practices that are getting closer to competition or, or is it just kind of like maybe more random and it just understanding this is happening? Yeah, for me, I, for me, it was uh, practices as I got closer to competition for sure. And then actually being at the competition sometimes. So like uh, some of these competitions that are more in your face, like, like final X or some of these where it's only one opponent that you're facing and there's a little bit more, I guess, promotion going on than maybe like the world team trials or something. Uh, There's so many athletes in the field. Uh, It's it's just differs a little bit. So yeah, for me, it would be those, those higher microscopic, you feel like you're in the, the microscope a little bit more situations. And so just, I had to get in tune with my emotional state and my body and see like, okay, my body's giving me uh giving me feedback is all it's doing. And uh, that increased heart rate that those like nervous jitters that I'm feeling it's uh it's just feedback and I can redirect my brain to say, all right, why am I feeling this way? Like, talk to me. Like, I, I kind of imagine that I'm like, that that's like the six year old version of myself speaking out like a little toddler saying, Hey, uh, there's a problem here. And just saying, Hey buddy, we're good. What's the problem? We're good here. We, we want to be here, you know? Uh, so that's kind of the way uh, the analogy that I use this past year, uh, also. Okay. 